Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, I guess first of all, uh, Happy New Year, and I hope you guys had a good Christmas and New Year. Um, today I ran up to Edmond, or Edmond, Edmonds, Illinois, up by uh, Rockford area, and picked up a case that he bought recently on auction time. We've got a case that we just finished, you probably saw it in the thumbnail, and then we moved in our next project into the paint room, so you guys are gonna see that. So uh, let's get this case unloaded. I'll show you guys the other one and we'll do some work in the shop tonight. What do you think of the new one? That new one over there? Yeah. And this one? Yeah. It's nice. It's nice. Drives nice. Yeah. What about this one? It will drive nice when you get done. It looks like it needs a, uh, a little TLC like we just gave this one here. Yes, sir. You want to fire it up and we'll get her unloaded? Yeah. 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 Okay, let's go check out this project. This is the Steiger Super Wildcat. Uh, you can see his sticker still there. We just started on this a couple days ago, took the front wheels off. Where these holes were drilled, there was a big frame that somebody put on there to put a big push plate on the front for like silage, uh, pushing silage around. And uh, got the interior, got everything ripped out, started sanding on that so we can put a new interior in it. Uh, all new hoses. There's still one more up there that shot. Here's some of those old hoses. They were just, you know, 50 years old. 
pretty well done. So all new hoses. Uh, we got a couple more to do. Some sanding, washing, and I think tonight we're gonna get these rear wheels off. This is our super wildcat project that we're working on right now. And basically we've taken all the wheels off and got it down to the frame. It had an old dozer blade on it that was welded in place. We cut it all out and uh, we're going to the inside of the cab, tearing all the interior out of it, taking the wiring out, rewiring everything inside of it, uh, putting a new upholstery kit in it, uh, redoing the seat, and all the hoses from front to back are being replaced. Uh, we're going to take it down to pretty much bare metal in a lot of places because it is heavily rusted, and then we'll give it two coats of high build primer and then come back and uh, give it a coat of the Steiger green. Uh, I traced all the decals on it so we can have decals are made, the decal on the hood, uh, the decal on the frame. Uh, we're gonna redo the exhaust system. Uh, John's uh, redone the battery boxes that were rusted out uh, all the way around. So that'll all be replaced. Um, then, then do a, a complete paint job of the we will retain the red wheels because <clears throat> these early <clears throat> Steigers did have red. Uh, isn't what you're used to seeing on them, but the very early ones like this one was, uh, had, the, had the Steiger red. Uh, so it will have the red wheels and, and to make it authentic. This is a 4455 we've had for a number of years. It's been our more tractor, but uh, we're going to put it on uh, a 7100, 7120 stack full planter. We're going to retire our old 7100 planter and go to a back planter. And uh, uh, the old rigid frame planter wasn't good for planting terraces. And this is primarily we use it for is, is patches and terraces and hard to get places uh, with our 24 row planter. So I pulled the wheels off, we're painting the wheels, uh, doing a cab interior. Checking out the air conditioning, patching a few leaks, and basically getting ready, ready for, for spring. One thing, we painted all the wheels. I just finished painting this one. It looks like a sloppy job, but basically, when I paint, I take soap. I take Dawn dish soap and paint the wheels all around here with this soap. These have already been painted, and give this paint about two days to dry. Then I come along with a high pressure washer and wash all the, the soap and, and the yellow off on the wheels. It's like, nothing looks sloppier than a tire with overspray on it. So uh, that's kind of my quick way. The other way was mask them off or rub them down with uh, paint thinner and, and uh, that's quite lengthy in time. But this seems to work good. Uh, you can see we did it on that tractor over there. And that makes the side all nice and black. And you wash off the soap. And uh, uh, it's a quick way of touching up wheels on basically anything. The plows, the tractors, we pretty much soap everything. Just use pure dawn just soap on or brush it on and let the paint dry for a couple days and then wash all the paint and soap off. So that's gonna be it for this video. Not a whole lot going on this one. Sorry about that. Uh, we've been doing all kinds of stuff but um, Later this week, we will have a video on our show that we're going to have in August, so stay tuned for that. We're going to put together just a montage and just kind of an informational video of what it's all going to be about, so uh, stay tuned for that. And then later this week, too, I think Jake and I, he's got a 1972 40, or 4020 power shift, and it's got the wrong engine in it, so we're going to engine swap that over a night, and uh, that'll be another video. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.